Let's see how that goes. Fortunately, I can't pick that one. Should be fun. Uh, of course. A funky texture. Once we get over here, the challenge becomes, I want to kind of integrate this part of the terrain into the build, so I'm going to have to, well, it should be too difficult. Again, we don't have collision on, so I should be able to turn things and still have them work as long as they don't auto-snap. Hoping the stream's doing better now. Just in case. Oh, here we go. This is a proper crafting boat. We have a little bit of everything on here. Worry about decoration crap later. Getting all the basics down. It looks like that fixed it. I think Twitch was just shit in the bed. Me, would it? So like, some of these metal nodes. I mean, like, you can't even really reach those without a flying mount that you can also, like, shoot crap from. This one I can. Yeah. All right. Yeah, hopefully when more people get on, or Carter and Thomas get on, possibly run some wood supplies as well. Because the more people that I have running it, the faster I can get this place up and running. Because all I have to do is craft it and just immediately go to place it. Ah, oh, I didn't want to pick that up. See what's actually in this water area. Yeah. 
Okay. Don't look like a whole lot. Oh, uh, I don't, did we bring, do we still have supplies to tame something like this at the moment? I honestly have no idea. I saw the Anklios up there. I mean, it's only 95, and we don't really need this stone or metal at the moment. Where did Marcus go? I won't go. Mostly need is these. What am I missing? That's probably the bolus. Still losing some frames, just not as ridiculously bad. I didn't want to use that. This wood might be slightly annoying because there's not a whole lot of trees here. There's, there's a decent amount, but... Until we get a wood gathering dinosaur, it's going to be kind of slow. Use my horse to go get wood. Downside is we're here to get resources. I, I, I don't know how my horse keeps doing that, just doing a U turn without me noticing. Suddenly I'm reverse on the saddle.
Wow. Relax, game. There we go. That bottom area, I'm probably gonna start by making out of s settlers. That stupid thing's trying to attack me. Uh, we'll probably make out of settler equipment, and then once we get closer up to the top, I'll probably change it to something different. Probably stone. better not smash the boat. Decent health, stamina's kind of meh. Food is silly high. Weight definitely not on a great side. Melee damage is all right for its level. You looking at pig? <clears throat> all right, let's see. What was I? They're probably in one of these ice boxes. What happened to all our narcotics? Because I know we had a bunch. We had the X ones as well. I remember us having like almost 200 of those X narcotics. Nice little lookout area. Assuming we don't have any issues with the other guy who currently here, this would be a pretty decent spot for a house. Got 
Got that small little cove area down there. I mean, if we wanted to build on this whole island, we easily could. Uh, the main problem at the moment is this other person who we have no idea. Like, Brian Marcus is, like, so settled on here. And we ended up finding somebody else here. We're gonna have to see how that plays out. We also need to change our name at some point. Assuming we are going to. What was in debate? Outcast Island. Did you guys like scout this out, I guess, last night or something? Cause I know you guys mentioned, or you mentioned specifically, uh, the island with like the, uh, the crater and everything, which I think is further past us. I think that's like the southern island areas. Or no, it's the island next to us. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about the neighboring one. One next to us. What in the hell are you doing? I'll move him. The two main issues I can see with this island, because there's always an issue no matter where you where you go to build, is uh, resource proximity. You said there's metal and obsidian nearby. That's that's pretty good. Uh, we still need to get like crystal as well. I have no idea where the hell crystal is close to us. I'm imagining that's gonna be further inland. Maybe. Uh, we're not far from water resources, oils, pearls, those are, aren't too bad. Uh, I think there's probably some more resources that I just can't think of at the top of my head. Uh, the other thing is getting animals over here. If we go mainland to tame stuff, getting it back and forth could be annoying because we can't pick up everything with an Argent. And those are really my only two gripes about this place. We'd probably have a similar issue if we were on the island over. Because it, it's still an island. Huh? Really? Yeah, like, I, if I'm gonna build anything out of, like, stained glass or greenhouse, uh, glass, especially if we're gonna get, like, a garden greenhouse, uh, I can see that be slightly annoying. Because it, though, that stuff's expensive when it comes to, like, using glass. That was... And I've also almost depleted all the trees on uh, this island already, so 
I want to open that. Oh yeah, that looks like, uh... We're literally pretty far from all crystal resource spawns. If we chose, like, some of the sand islands a bit further to the south... Like, further, further south, we probably wouldn't be too bad in that regard. Getting pinged. I'm gonna clear out freaking Discord notifications real quick. Alright. Onto the land and fill those in. But we're probably gonna have to do what I did is that's drive the boat along the coastline, fill it up with wood as much as possible, and just craft as we go and then bring it all back. Because that's what I had to do when I was playing on Valhalla. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Those, those sandy islands further down, because there's a lot of nice spots there too. Uh, I don't imagine heat would be too much of an issue. <clears throat> and we're a little bit closer to the desert as well. <coughs> and yeah, there's actually a... Now that I'm looking at it, there looks to be almost like a land bridge uh, around what looks to be 75... 26, 27. I can't actually zoom in because I'm on a horse. But, uh... Yeah, if we build close to there, we could actually... That would actually fix... Technically, it would fix both of the issues that I have. And that's... There's crystal not too far away from there. And there's also a natural... What well, looks to be like a natural land bridge. Which we could be able to bring Apex or, like, bigger dinosaurs across with. We're also closer to the mainland, in a way. So we could technically get resources like wood faster without having to go too far is uh let me look at the map again yeah because the island we're on is a decent ways away the nearest land that's not over because the land south of us doesn't have a whole lot of trees and the land north of us is swamp and that's just kind of annoying as hell to farm trees in because it's just that everything there is going to easily kill us And I mean, we have plenty of time to move, because all the stuff that I'm, I've put down so far, all I have to do is pick it back up, and we can just go and place it in the new place if we have to. So it's not like we're uh, set in stone at the moment. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I just want to make it... I want Because we're going to be here for what, possibly two to three months. And while we can always change base locations, uh, I like to have it kind of established one and done as much as possible. I mean, I love building and all, but uh, unless our base gets like destroyed in attack or something, I don't want to be constantly moving. No longer luck, Marcus will get it blown up somehow. Also, I have no idea what's going to happen when I start, like, building a bit further in. Like, is he mentioned the, uh... He mentioned the resources and whatnot. And I don't know how many of those are going to respawn once I start building up in that tunnel. It's, oh, God, that's... That's not the way to go. Uh, I don't know how many of those metal nodes are going to actually stay there. And we can't really expand out at the moment, because again, we have the other issue of this person being here, we have no idea. And it kind of seems silly, just a little silly, to start kind of like a land claim conflict on one of like the largest maps possible, with a not too large player base. And just happen to, you know, we're here, that person's here, and we, we do outnumber them, but it just seems like a pointless endeavor. 
But again, Marcus picks fights, so that it wouldn't surprise me that he would <laughs> want to get rid of him. Uh. Try some corner pieces just to see if I can. Because I don't have a freeform snap. Everything's trying to snap together. <clears throat> and there doesn't appear to be a button that I'm aware of that disables that snapping. Because if I could disable the snapping, I could just interlock everything. <clears throat> so I want to try to keep it even with the uh, the stone that's already there. I've probably got about maybe another two hours, maybe two hours left, and then I'll probably be on. Yeah. It's gonna have to come this way. There it goes. Too many foundations left. We still got these that I gotta plug up. We got what two holes of the year, uh, and then we got we have a hole here, but because I've built the gate backwards, I don't think we have to mess with that too much. This will be walled off. So. Desert Island, I mean further south? I don't need to find Marcus at this point, because if we end up leaving, I mean, he may come back here. Well, where did he go? Because he was here, and we took the boat and the bird, so how did he, how did he get off? I didn't even think about that for like the longest time. Like we took both the bird and the boat and I'm like, wait, hold on. Cause we, I joked leaving with the boat, like, you know, we'll just leave him here. Yeah, I didn't think he would be in there. Cause that's the first thing I looked when I came back is calling for him, and I looked inside. I 
I honestly don't know. Unless he decided to start searching for Serena on his own. Like a jackass. I, I'm more confused to how he got off the island. Because we kind of left him here with no real way to get off unless he made himself his own boat. Or he swam like a brave motherfucker. I mean, he possibly could have swam to that island. How connected are all those? Pretty close. I don't know about the next one over, but it might have been it. Hmm. Maybe we'll just leave a note for him. Let us go and come back later. Alright, I guess we'll do that. Luckily, there's no predators on this island. We do have this tame here. Still. Uh, the one thing I kept forgetting to do was to uh, fix my hair color. Because we didn't have dyes for the... Longest time. Ow, ow. Okay. I mean, yeah, we can we can take our time if you want to focus on getting that thing tamed first. Then we can uh then we can move out. Oh, okay. It took me a second to realize what you were saying. Yeah, I was meaning to, uh, meaning to, uh, get that re-dyed. Alright. I'm skeptical about the Argent sitting there, but we'll find out in a second. Okay. I was taking a little bit of damage. Alright. So the, uh, the Anki will be alright without us for a while. Alright. I wish boats had reverse functions. We're gonna stay close, yeah, closer to the inside. Where the hell did Marcus go? I 
I'm glad I restarted the stream. I've only lost like 300 frames since I put it back on. That seems to have fixed the issue. Oh. Hmm. I think we hit a rock. I think the only reason we wouldn't push too far towards that land bridge, because I know uh, wyvern territory tends to exist there. I don't think there's I don't think there's eggs. I think that's only in the trench up north. But I know there's wyverns there. I've seen them? They like that other cove. The uh. Yeah, the forty-five or the uh, the seventy-five forty-five cove. That's good to know. I know there's some beavers up there. I know there's a river up there that beavers use. The only place that I've seen beavers. That'd be a great place to fly up, if, especially if we get down here. We could fly up to that for cementing paste pretty often. We run into Marcus, I swear to god I'm gonna trank his ass and drag him back. <laughs> was probably the land bridge that I saw on the map or close to it this little cliff area oh hello that looks really nice the uh that rock outcropping there yeah okay so there is a little bit of a land bridge here oh there's a house over there Hold up one second. They dead? There's a settlement over there. What were you saying? Something about carrying you? Okay. Uh, do you have do you have like a parachute, something to help you uh, stop from uh, dying if you happen to get dropped? I'm not saying I'll drop you. I just don't want you to get lost. Probably grab one myself. What am I missing? I've got it all. I'm gonna put a couple together myself just in case I get knocked off.
Let me know when you're ready. I also don't know what Marcus wants leveled up on this, so I'm gonna kinda leave it. That was a pretty good snatch. I think we're too I think we're too far in inland. I think those tend to stay further out. Hopefully. I don't know how deep this water is. I'm gonna bring us to the top of this. Take a short breather to look around. This will let us know if anybody's built out here as well. Yeah, the terrain down there is pretty flat. Let's uh let's scope out the area from up here. It'll be safe, assuming we don't slip. Ramp where? Oh, and yeah, that does look very interesting. Let's got this area real quick. As long as they don't slide off, I think I'll be fine. I got parachutes. Assuming a terror bird doesn't eat. A lot of nice flat land. So, what I can tell. That would be the closest source. Now, there's a little bit of a rock outcrop in the way. But, we could probably make that swim. It probably wouldn't be too bad of a swim. And it probably is shallow there, if I take a look. It looks like, uh... It doesn't look like it's going to be that deep. That'd be an easy land bridge. So, even if we built up there... Uh, it wouldn't be too hard getting dinos now. Not to mention that that area right there is really flat. So if we put like a keep or something on top, we could have the rest of the uh, the fort, I guess, would be down below. There'd be a lot of space over there, actually. That, that looks like a pretty decent area. I guess we can go check it out real quick. Not to mention we're close to water, so we can also just go and... Uh, Since we're close to water, we can also build a uh, port if we want to remake one of Marcus's freaking battleships or something. He he could work on that. I'm not. I'm all right with building ships. I just he probably knows how to build it a little bit better. Yeah, this is pretty shallow down here. I see a shark, but it's kind of stuck. So. I just got a natural land bridge connecting to that too. Yeah, I got this whole area we're flying over right now really flat. It, we could easily put a gate up here. Like, this is actually kind of cool. There's a lot of bridges here. We could almost build a, a city here if uh, Marcus wasn't so anti-social. This is a nice area right here, too. This is pretty nice. I could see us having uh, a keep here. Possibly having almost like a village down below. The only thing I saw over here was like a, a camel of some kind. So I think we're safe. Oh, what the hell is this thing?
It's got water in it. Huh. So if I was in creative mode, I could probably build an entire city across every one of these islands, but uh, that would take a long time. <laughs> and just building on this one small section would be pretty easy. So we have this area up here. We've got what looks to be like another entrance ramp we could put here. Lots of metal that we can get. This is nice and flat. Uh, I don't know if this goes anywhere. Oh, it connects over here. So we could probably gate this off as well. Unless somebody wants to put like a green... We could probably put a greenhouse over here. Like have a, a farm. Possibly put dinosaurs here. This is pretty spacious actually. Water vein. I have food on me? Dear. Yeah, I'm seeing that. There's a there's a whole lot of nice uh, things out here. Could easily have a, a stables of some kind out here, especially if we're gonna breed anything. This has got plenty of space for it. We could also stick a greenhouse over here for crops. It's all flat. It's got some nice trees if we don't want to break them. Is this silk? Yeah, let's see if we can grab what we can while we're here. Uh, 15 silk. Oh yeah, let's see him down there. I know what he's doing. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no telling how old a lot of the creatures on this little peninsula are. Another one there. Yeah, if we ignore like this bottom area below us, and we just use this this area up to there, and then possibly using this area, this big flatland here, we could easily easily kind of have our own village. And if somebody wants to build on top of that, uh, we could easily do it because I have el we could easily do something with like an elevator or some sort, assuming we get big enough to really warrant that. Oh, there's a scorpion here. Oh, he definitely sees us. Woo! You alright? Oh, getting heat stroke out here too. I don't know if we'll get hit with desert effects out here or desert weather effects. We're getting heat stroke. Oh. Sulfur. That's a lot of sulfur. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of sulfur.
Some of this uh, powder stuff and this rocks. Probably use them for uh, explosives and stuff. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Let me just look over here again real quick. I just got some sulfur rocks over here. You hear a humming? The drop nearby. Where's that coming from? Oh! It, whoa! It was invisible! What in the world? It had two eggs on it, and it looks like a blueprint for something. I think it's a centipede. Got a turtle egg and a bronto egg. It was, it was weird, it was invisible. I've not seen that. Can't tell if that was just a glitch or something they did. Yeah, if we clear out this area, we could, uh... Oh, there is a kangaroo out here. Oh, hello there. Yeah, let's uh go get the bird and go back and find Marcus. Yeah, just flying over, there's uh a whole lot of nice areas here. Keep up there, stables, gardens off the sides, and then we can have everyone houses on this area we were just on. And then we'll probably gate off the land bridges to, you know, secure things. Easily doable. And having a, uh... Put this sulfur. Uh... Oh, come on. Yeah. To keep up there. Uh, garden stables there. We can block off that ramp there with a gate of some kind. Uh, and then that big circle area right there, easily cleared out and just put walls up and have like a village almost. It depends on, I guess, what Marcus would uh, want to do with the place. Like if we're gonna be, are we gonna be for war? You want to do trading, breeding, just. Anything. We could easily open a market there. <clears throat> thorny, thorny dragons down there, too. Not to mention, there's just a whole lot of, like, natural trees, stones, a whole bunch of, like, just easy to get to resources, because the rest of the island that we're not using would be pretty big. How's my stick? Gonna have to, uh, give the bird a quick rest, and then we'll go to the boat.
Let's get going. I assume the heat strokes due to direct sunlight. And because I'm maybe not wearing desert gear. Which is usually the armor of choice that I wear. It looked like I grabbed her again mid-air, and I was like, uh, what's going on? Into the water, sploosh. Yeah. We could, uh, get the, I mean, we got the animals over on through this, so it shouldn't be too hard. You're not landed on my screen, so I'm not sure. If... What up? Something else over there now. The boat. Who the people seem to be, I guess, offline. Yeah, you're not landed on my screen, so this is gonna be glitchy as crap. I won't be surprised if you magically disappear.
We're out of the desert and I'm still getting heat stroke. <laughs> Might be the metal armor. There you are. I'll just chuck a lucky new fella. Where the hell were you at? I, I went for a bit of a wonder. <laughs> you know, I uh, I found some more things and uh, I, I lost a lot of armor. I need to uh, repair quite a bit. Well, the smithy's on, up on the boat. I don't know right. if we have a whole so, lot of metal left though. this thing doing are we gonna stay here then our decision be made I mean the main I look for some crystal and I couldn't find crystal I can find up shit and everything else yeah we went we went further south towards a, uh, a desert area that has a nice plateau that is connected via yeah, it's, it's got a, uh, it's connected via land bridges, so it's very defendable from any form of ground assault. And if we get walls up, the only thing we'd have to really worry about would be any kind of, like, an air attack. Which, if we get some ballistas set up, wouldn't be too difficult. Fuck your ballistas, I want heavy turrets. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I want. Well, alright, we can do that too. But yeah, it, it, it looks like it'd be very good. Plus, we can move uh, larger creatures across a natural land bridge between the uh, the mainland and where we're where we would be set up. So, right, right, right. That sounds good. That sounds like a fucking plan. How, how do you think this Anklio is coming along? <clears throat> Marcus, you were in stream the whole time, weren't you? <laughs> Having out for just a second. Alright. Uh... Okay, I guess we'll let it wake up. Cause there were, uh, I'm pretty sure there's Ankleos over there. I don't know how you're gonna get that Fiomia up here. Actually, if we can, hold on. We move this. And we pick up the bed for just now. We could put a ramp right there. Let's see if I got enough to make ramp. Please tell me I have enough. Awesome. Uh, ramp, ramp, ramp. That's a roof. That's a ramp. Holy crap, this thing is freaking the hell out. What the hell is this snap point? Okay, there we go. There. That should make it, uh, getting the animals up here easier. I mean, there's definitely functionality in, uh, building here. 
I just the, the the main issue is tackling the resources and dino migration. I think that was oh get the thing up top too. I guess if we go over there, the first thing we're gonna the first thing I think that would make sense to make is a crafting area. Just a main hub where we just put all our resources and all our crafting, almost like an Maybe like an armory, in a way, just to get everything in one place. And then as we get through, uh, start building built individual buildings, walls, gates, keeps, etc. Cool. I was almost tempted to parachute, <laughs> parachute down. The shaft, just for fun. Hmm. I got an idea. Woo! Oh, I can do it right here. Just because I can! There he is. Okay, that was uh, a right. lot more fun than it should have been. <laughs> you wanna, uh... I still got the Anki. The Anki's woken up. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna find one that's a little bit closer. Uh, before we uh, before we take off, do you want to we mine all this metal that's in here? Take it with us. Wouldn't be a bad idea. We probably. I mean, there's metal where we're going, right? Yeah, but I mean, we're, we happen to be just right here, and we can take it up to the boat. I mean, I think it's I think it's like unnecessary. All right, let me just grab the uh, let me just grab some of these pieces. We'll probably have to pick them all up, will we? There is. There we go. Wish there was like a button I could just press to immediately pick them up. Yeah, sorry I was, uh, <coughs> sorry I was gone for a while. It's alright, as long as we're back in the same area. Just don't want us to getting lost and... I to go. I do some thinking. Deep thinking. We'll find Serena. She's gotta be here somewhere. She's gotta be. Okay. Here. That's everything. Probably just four strike here. Now I guess it's a good thing most of the horses died because we wouldn't have enough room for them. <laughs> right. So, uh, do you want to lead the way? Because I don't know what, what happened to our. Oh, Pracy died. Uh, uh, but Parso died, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. The damn Rexes. 
Oh, did you, uh, did you hear about the other wrecks that attacked our base while we were getting everything moved? Oh, shit. Yeah, another one came through, just went right over the walls, went straight after me. I got cornered between a rock. You torn down that place now. The old place. Yeah, the old place is all gone. That's all gone now, right? Alright. Yeah. Well, let's get moving then. We need a place to sleep at night. I'll probably put down, uh... <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're... Hold up a second. I think the animal trying to follow while we're moving. Yeah, we're- this is the- this is the issue I had with the- the freaking bird. Is that the- they would just- it would do this, it would just glitch sideways, or glitch backwards. So it's kind of pushing us. I think this- this pig is causing problems. Have you beast yourself? I- I can't seem to move it now. I feel like we're a little too top-heavy on one side or something. It keeps moving away. Like, it, it will not move at all. Is it really jammed in there? Yeah, I think you've actually fucked it. Let me see if I can move the, the pig real quick. I managed to move it a little bit, that's about it. it. Looks like it's starting to move. See if you can keep wiggling it. Yeah, I was I was going around that, and then it, we just kept going sideways a little bit more and more, and then it glitched us right into the damn rock. This better not have fucked our boat. I'm gonna be so irritated. Cause it's moving. Looks like you're getting it to turn. If it if it gets us all the way out, then <laughs> it was a dodo. It was the dodo jamming it. All right, so uh, let me just drop the pig back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll jump back. There we go. So the pig is still causing me to rubber brand. It did not work properly. Uh, the pig's still slightly in the way. Yeah, this pig is causing lots of problems. We'll just try to stay away from the rocks. Hopefully we won't tip into them. All right, I think it's working now. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Did some guys uh, come by earlier? By any chance? Come by at the old place? The new place. Uh, not that I saw. Somebody, I did hear someone mention your name on the radio, but I don't know what it was about. It was probably a friend of mine. It's amazing I still have them. Yeah, I was about to say that.
What do you mean, what is mum? It's, uh, like, uh, it's where you came from. At the very beginning. You know, she, uh, picked you up when you fell from the apple tree sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying, don't you? Uh, well, basically, imagine if you uh, fell from a fucking tree. Um, uh, your mother would pick you up from the uh, the apple tree, and uh, that's how you uh, became. Um, Is this what you told Riley? Riley figured it out for herself. <laughs> sure. Yes, because Riley is a functioning kid with two normally functioning adults. <laughs> Now I feel like Marcus is going to pick me up. Whatever, you know, if she gets a boyfriend or wh whenever she gets a boyfriend, whatever his boyfriend or her boyfriend does to her, I would do to him. That's the rules. Sounds fair. We're not too far now. You see that, uh, that large rock outcropping just further in the distance? We may have to navigate slightly around with the boat. Surprise Marcus hasn't run out of energy yet. What is is that a basilisk horse? I got the whoa, hello. Might have been. Thought it came from the water for a moment. Yeah, this water over here is a bit more shallow. But like, right where we're going, we could easily cross big dinos. This area up ahead is where I was uh, referring to where we can get the dinos across uh, land. Because it's a lot more shallow here, so a lot of the larger water creatures can't get to us. Once we get up here. Is this one here? Uh just further up ahead. You can see the you can see the cliffs. Those large cliffs. Yeah, if you want to give your bird a quick rest, yeah. Because uh, up there, there's just a lot of really good natural defenses. We don't have to build too high of walls. <laughs> yeah, I did see a couple of terror birds while we were over here.
The closest place we could probably find would make a good dock as well. If we make a small dock. Or small harbor, I guess. Whatever it would define small for Marcus's possible potential future battleship. Because <laughs> I won't be surprised if he makes one, especially on this map with how good the water is. The only predators I've seen are scorpions. Oh! Well, I mean, it's slightly out of the way, so we don't really have to worry about other people. But it's also close to the desert, so we don't have to search very far. Yeah, I saw a sheep over there. Peculiar place for it. We could probably grab it once we make land. Yeah, it looks like this cliff will take us up there. Huh. I remember Marcus went already. He may have went to grab the sheep. <sighs> I don't want to go too far because I saw a Carnotaurus. Is he over here? Oh, he flew over the rock cliffs. Okay. I think I saw a, uh, a bit larger predator over here. I got Carnotaurus. Yeah. Two of them. Okay. I'm gonna bring my horse back. It sees us. Carno. Ah. We're good. Right, so what I should do is bring you up one by one up to the top of the plateau up there where we're going to build, right? It's a uh, bit dangerous, does it not, being here? I mean, we could clear path because uh, we'll have to get everything from the boat up there. Oh, we can just use the Arctic Tavis to pick it up there. That's true. It's I that. It, it, it's this. Yeah, it's this cliff straight off ahead. Uh, the one I'm looking at. Alright. See what was in there. There was, oh, there was a metal hatchet in there. Awesome. So. Put these on my horse. I think he threw some of the settler stuff in here. I load my horse up, and he can pick it up and take that up there. And I don't get attacked. There we 
Everything good? I was thinking of that plateau up there. Oh, this one? Yeah, by all them. Yeah, up there. Because then we can, um... We can actually, um... Right. Like, uh, defend it a lot easier. Is there any, uh... Like, land ramps that are leading up to it? Yeah, there's like a bridge. Like a really defendable bridge. Ooh, okay. That sounds pretty good. Stupidly narrow. Is it... How, well... How narrow? Because do we want to bring any... Ah! I guess I better find out. Yeah, leave him up there. Bring him up there. <laughs> oh, is he talking about this? Ah, uh, okay. Because yeah, I was thinking about putting, like, the stables and gardens here, but yeah, that, I mean, we, we can put it there. Let's see why not. I think I thought that was a... That drop bear. Ah, yeah, that was one of the, uh, one of the areas I thought we might be able to expand to. But, uh, if we want to start there, yeah, that, that could easily work. Yeah, that, that, I mean, like I'm saying, like, uh, that, that would actually be really, really easy to start there. Mm -hmm. and, and you're right, the bridge is narrow, so it's easily defendable. We have the big cliff side with us. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> it's kind of hot here, though, isn't it? Well, once we get a, a roof up, we should be fine. Uh, my horse is loaded up on some of uh, the building materials, so if somebody wants to fly it up there. Right, um... Bring me up there, bring me up there and leave me up there. Oh, maybe not then. Actually, I'll ride the horse. Can you ride the horse while she picks it up? <laughs> oh, <maybe not>. Fuck <laughs> I didn't think he could. <laughs> I'll turn that off so it's just not wasting because it's not good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Once the horse is up there, I can get the foundations and crap down. So, uh, take the horse up and then come back and grab me, and I'll start putting stuff down. <laughs> Depends on how big we want the gate to be. Because I could start at the front, but if we just need a building first, I'll probably start at the back. We can obviously pick stuff up later and move it if we want to change what buildings go where. We'll probably just get something started for now. God, that's so fast! So we should probably uh, get a primary building where we put all the crafting materials in first. Do you want to start there, or do you want me to start on putting a gate up at the front? Uh, just put a gate up at the front so nothing runs in, and then we'll start like building some bits and bobs around. Alright. Just be careful, we don't really want to build near these metal nodes. Building there for now, of course. Uh... Like say, uh, uh, Jewel, try and avoid building near them metal nodes over there. That could come in handy, them little things. Well, I mean, if Is we end up... metal here? Oh yeah, all over the place. There's also, uh, sulfur as well, if we want to make something with a little bit more of a bang. That should be good, that should be good. What, what are you doing? Oh! What was that? Drop bear. Oh, yeah, well, 
Well, we'll what we'll do later on was we'll, we'll actually uh, well, what we need first if we're going to tame anything is a pin. We need a thorny dragon. Oh really? It's not. There's actually several here, so if we can go fly around and find a good one. Yeah. I'm gonna get this gate down. All right, so this is gonna be about three foundations, roughly. Thinking turn. A bit to the left. course we can put corners there uh, by the way you um yes you might you might want to put take your clothes off so you don't get hit stroke it's probably not a bad idea I don't know if that's gonna stop us I feel like taking your clothes off and just being naked and being hit by the sun would make it worse. So this is just a makeshift gate. I can make a bigger one if we need to upgrade it. Ah! How strong is that one? God, that thing scared me. God damn it! Is she crazy? She's actually crazy. What? Oh no! She's actually crazy. Grab it quick. No, my horse! I'm about to go and... No, you grabbed me! I had to take my clothes off to uh, deal with the heat. It's a 100. God fucking damn it. It's still there. Careful. What metal nodes are you talking about? The ones in the walls? Do I get more berries or... I don't get any fiber from that. Well, they handle that fiasco. I'm gonna try to get more silk, see if we can craft some desert gear. Yeah, we'll be safe up here as uh, Zora brings all sorts of nasty creatures on top of us. The sub got pulled out. Uh, oh, we need it. In this. Okay. I'll resume building once this thing is out cold. Ah. Yeah, it's running away. I don't want one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Nice. Right. Well, that's one situation dealt with. What's the stats on this thing? Pretty decent stamina. Uh, weight could be better, melee could be better. Hell, oh, sorry. I'm not sure, actually. Right, leave it like that. 
bro. We need about uh, 160 narcotics for it. We should have those down on the boat. Narco berries, obviously. So, uh, where exactly do you think you want me to uh, set up the first building? If you don't want me to build too close to the middle? Uh, just somewhere like here. Okay. I'll clear out these rocks. Just set one of them, uh, one of them um, uh, hexagon houses up here. See how I did them before. Can this thing break? Super encumbered. Let's see. Watering vein right there. I can do. Let's see. We'll do. He's at hexagon, so. Thinking is. That was there. Right. Um. Just need to give set me some... up a big hexagon. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some corners. Obviously, we'll tear down this thing once we've, uh, you know, got. Yeah, once we've got everything set up, we can move things. Uh, where is that? That's what I need. Right, let's have a look. Be... I'll get the uh, the building up. God, that's like... Okay. So I don't have a ladder at the moment. So... This... Needs to be turned. Awesome. All right, got a lot more supplies on the boat. All right, uh... Get that covered, right? I don't think leather gear is going to do a lot. You know, when we got the, um, oh, hello. Sheep, you know, we should, like, oh, that well, that's would, a uh, very old that sheep. <laughs> that's a very good sheep, damn. We uh, killed this in about 48 minutes from now. Um, we should be good. We could also start a sheep farm with it. If we want, of course. We need, we need a um, thingy quicker. Or what'd you call it? A uh, forty dragon. Yeah, to get more uh, wood supplies. I uh, we still have some down on the boat that can be brought up here. I think I've got everything off the uh, horse. I'll work on it. Where is? And balls. No, I didn't want the frickin' foundations. Okay. 
Nice hexagon to start. Alright, uh... I need wood. Do you have anything left? I don't think so. Nope. Alright. You get some, uh... Desert armor, that would probably help. Oh, it's also writing, so heat stroke's gone. I've got about 40-ish minutes, which should be enough time to get this set up and going. And then the only thing that we would need at that point is just to fill this crap up with a whole bunch of, like, wood fiber thatch stuff that I can keep making buildings with. Yeah, Marcus, uh, Marcus went to go get some of the supplies from the boat. Easily set up like a water vein, uh, well thing there. A great source of uh, water right in their base. Did the Ingram is not the actual size that the glove is. It doesn't fit the slot when in third person. You know, in first person it clearly does. How's this doing? Yeah, that'll help us get a whole bunch of Starting materials. I, I wanted to tame one anyways, so it'd be nice to have one of those. Got two walls. Uh, we need what? One, two, three, four. Really? I'm gonna move him off of this for a moment. Since nothing's hostile up here. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. He's stuck. Are you serious? He's still stuck. Come on. Move, you stupid fat fuck. Are you really- God damn. I hate this thing. You're not standing on anything. Move. You're not touching anything. Alright, the bird's gonna have to come and move this, because this is- Follow me. Why are you not- why is he not following me? He, he's like- he is actually stuck on something. I'm gonna end up, like, executing this thing if it doesn't get to moving. If I can get it. 
Yeah, I was about to about to say we should probably make some of that uh better uh desert equipped gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh you might need to help me move this pig. He's being a stubborn fuck. Oh no, I need him away from the building. Uh, well, I mean, can we place some stuff down because I, I need to uh, get unload. What are you unloading? I mean, they'll be moved later on, but just... Okay, yeah. Wood. Um. I need to move this dude. Like, he's in the way so bad. Can you, uh, grab the pig? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna need that for crafting. Did he fill these up? Marcus, this is the ice box. Put a whole bunch of stuff in here like tools. Crap that doesn't spoil. And you put the stuff that spoils in the thing that okay, Jesus. I don't even know what you're doing anymore. This one is also full of crap. Put clubs in here. Is this what Serena had to put up with? The smithies in here. Or the advanced crafting stations in here. Jesus. I'm just trying to clean this up. Put the bed down a bit. Did I clean that up properly? Put one here. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I put up the pieces that I was trying to... No, I'm missing a foundation here.
can't wait for us to have, like, organized storage. It'll be so nice. <laughs> God, there's just stuff everywhere. I don't know what half this crap is. Those. Ah, good wood. Finally, some good fucking food. I need... Are we making another wall? Whoa! Hold on. What happened in here? I need... A couple of these diagonal walls. One more of those. I could probably get a door down. What happened? Oh, Dave, does Ellie know you're trying to get honey people? And you from the Redwoods? <laughs> I just need two more walls and I can start getting them. Oh. Any wood we have, try to put in this uh, station that I'm that I'm building in right here by the door, the uh, the carpentry table. This should be really good for wood in a second. We need to get a um, a smithy made, obviously. I think we uh, because, uh, we had one. Yeah, well, we obviously can't pick it up, can you? I mean, you've been smashed to pieces. We need to get some clay made. And, uh, metal. For the pony dragon saddle. Provides a nice look. I feel like my, my tattoo needs to be swapped. Just somehow inverted. I have no idea how I would go about doing that. Alright, there's a lot of the fiber. A lot of the thatch. Go in the other one. Oh. Uh, more dead specimen implants. I'm not sure where you guys are getting these from anymore. Uh, I'll grab some of this fiber. And this other one. Fucking skins. Gate. This one. Where did... oh. How did you get over here? Actually, I can just keep that in my... I do want to figure out some of the crap. We have more silk here. 
the oh the uh freaking water bucket. Open the damn table. Open the damn table. Jesus Christ, game. That's a mess. Alright, now I need... This is the at these diagonal ones. I'll make one just to make correct. Holes. That's right. Ah. Now I need two more. Here I can eat ceilings, but we're not there just yet. Hard to see. I think that's. I kind of hate how it snapped. I mean, it's a temporary building and everything, but. If placing it from the outside. I wonder if it's because I've placed the walls this way. This wall backwards or something? It's super freaking weird. Why does it do that? Like it's a hundred, it's kind of impossible to tell which side seven more of those. Need two more corner pieces and we have the ceilings. Right, I've had a look around. It's it actually is a pretty good place this, you know. I thought you might agree. And we have lots of room to expand in case we do grow. I doubt we doubt so. I just thinking about, you know, where other people are, you know, on this island. So we can actually talk to people. Yeah, we'll probably have to use Flyers mostly to get inland because it seems like most people settled quite close to where wherever the hell we were teleported. Yeah, um, we are pretty far away then, right? Yeah, but I don't imagine anybody. Well, as far as where we know, a hot springs. Hot springs? Yeah, someone said hot springs a second ago in the rain. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's close to that uh that volcano that's further north. Maybe. 
but I don't imagine anybody has actually built much of anything in the desert, so we'll have control of most of the south. That said, we did see uh, we did see some people building not too far from here, along the uh, the beach line. I mean, we could build a main place here and then like have an outpost, you know, up north as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could probably build one close towards the center of the island. That way, we have somewhere we can go from all corners. Yeah, so we can leave like some big dinos there as well. Would Deep make sense. To go to war. Somewhere slap back in the middle. Plus, this will make a lot. You know they will. You know there will be war, right? There always is, isn't there? Especially with you around. Yes, there's always war. I plan, if I don't find my Serena, I plan on killing every single alien until I fucking find her. <laughs> Just so you know, that could cause a lot of shit. I really hope I don't ever see one of these alien things. I will squish its head like it's a fucking marshmallow. Alright, I gotta get some wood. I was exp I was thinking they would bring more wood up, but I don't know if that was all the wood or not. Looks like the boat's been mostly cleaned off. Do what's left here. If I nearly fall into the water. That's completely empty. Uh, I guess we can just leave that there. So, I need wood to finish this. Wow, these are really good trees. almost encumbered myself. And the bigger the tree is, the less wood it seems to give. These smaller trees? Fuck tons of wood. No clue what that sound was. I just want to get enough wood to finish. Oh my god, the moon is spinning in circles. That's not normal. Somebody got rid of all the birds' food. <laughs> uh, alright. Right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go in my head for a bit, alright? Alright, I'm gonna get the roof up and then I'm probably gonna go to bed. Thank you. 
There we go. Oh, stone. Wait. Get four going. So where did our spark powder go? Here. Oh, it's empty. There we go. Now the inside. There we go. Good start. Let's see if I can get some of the silk. There's a whole bunch of silk. Damn sheeps just watering around. Hopefully anything we tame doesn't get killed by magical T-Rexes. Uh... Did we make a smithy? Did we use the bird? requires pearls and crystals. Got some pearls. I don't think we have any crystal though. I feel like the uh, desert gear would be great if it was on the other side.
that on the radio. These things have a lot of like points on them. Not sure what that last zone modifies. I think. How's it doing? Assuming he's still here. Hello. Yeah, how's it uh Hello? how's it doing so far? Um it's almost there. You know, it's gonna be a little bit longer, but uh, it should be good. All right, I got the uh, the rest of the uh, building is up for now. Uh, we got all the uh, storage set up, whatever temporary it is. I'm gonna go lie down for a while, and then uh, I guess I'll see you in a day or so. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll have to see. Uh, go. If you have to, uh, leave me a note of something, like, uh, ideas of stuff that you want in this area, and I can start making well, I buildings. Thinking earlier, I was thinking earlier, I did do a run around, I was thinking, mm -hmm. um, this bit here, mm -hmm. for the, um, for maybe all around here, maybe, for the, uh, workshop. Or maybe even this part here. And the workshop would be for what? Well, everything, you know, all the all the industrial stuff, you know. Ah, so just for building, crafting, and just about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll make it out of like the you only know, the, uh, the uh, wooden castle and keep stuff. Okay. Like, you know, all the castle and keepy stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, we'll make it out of the metal stuff of that. All right, that sounds good. Uh, consult Thomas first, though, before you start b building a workshop. He's uh, <clears throat> a meticulous person when it comes to storage and how things are laid out. Well, I don't blame you, or blame him after seeing how everyone uh, haphazardly throws things around. He, 
like Thomas has a meticulous way of doing things. Everything has a place, and everything is done his way or no way. That sounds. Otherwise, one morning, you will find bags of like resources just chucked on the floor in a paddy, and that will be it. He'll <laughs> <laughs> just go out and get a mort and then re reorganize it all. So, well, let's, uh, I, I guess I'll let him do it then. As long as I can find everything okay, then yeah. We should be all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, like he's really organized. That's what I'm saying. Like he's super organized with his stuff. <laughs> we might have to give him a bit of a hand, but <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, also, do not if you used ammo, pick it up in fifties. Oh, is there any reason for that? If if there's like, let's I used to do it on purpose, like leave <laughs> one bullet behind, uh, not in a, uh, a you know container of bullets, not a stack of bullets, and he would lose his goddamn mind because it would like uh, he would like. He would make 2001 of something. Guys. He would just, he would just chuck it on the floor. And oh boy. That would be it. He would rather make, you know, 2000 bullets just to replace that one bullet and it all be like neat and tidy. So what you're saying is if we get 2001 bullets, he'll probably load that bullet into a gun and just shoot it to get rid of it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll keep that in mind when I, I guess, start getting buildings down. I'll make sure to leave plenty of room for lots of storage. I mean, uh, did, I mean, Thomas, he will, um, he will clear this entire island of metal within a couple of hours. Every hour. That sounds pretty good, then. Because we're gonna need a lot of metal yeah. just to get, uh, a lot of these keep walls and stuff up. We need to get an Anki first, though. We need to get a... a there might be one around here. Well, what we can do first is, I thought we'd make a fabricator, get some polymer done, and what we can do is we can make one of them egg collectors. And once we get one egg collector, we can start bringing some, uh, like, dillos over and stuff like that to get the basics. Alright. I don't know too much about eggs and all that stuff, but I could probably get a stables of some kind. Up as well. Yeah, I mean, it's important that we get an egg collector. It's like paramount to our survival. Alright, uh, any other building ideas in the area before I uh, go to bed? Uh, I do want... I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about building something up there myself. Up on that plateau. Like a, a personal house of some kind? Yeah, yeah, it's like a personal house. I can probably help with that. Uh, we can make it out of what? You want something strong, like keep uh, walls and Next. such. It will only be accessible by uh, flyer. Oh, so you don't want to ramp up there at all? No, nothing like that. It will literally only be accessible by flyer or pickaxe or whatever you want to do. Okay. Yeah, well, I can, I can see what we can do with that. <clears throat> Even that, or we could make an elevator. Yeah, we can do that too, since we can keep those secure. Yeah, right. Anyway, I better kill that sheep soon. <laughs> You're going to make a good dinner. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't Did think he'd give a shit. He just didn't give a shit about you. <laughs> it's going to die. You are going to die. You're going to pass away. This is how you're going to die. You're going to be in something's food. How does that make you feel, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna get some shut eye. All right. You have a good one. All right. I log back on, and there's T-Rexes attacking our base. I swear to fucking god. <laughs> Before I forget, because I wanted to adjust something real quick. But... I wanted to match. I had most of it matching, and then I got to that part, and I was like, uh, it's not working. 
That looks pretty good. <laughs> All right. Back to bed. All right. <laughs> I mean, no, seriously, when, uh, if you go back and watch the first literal two minutes of this stream, there was two Rexes attacking me immediately, and I was like, oh, everyone's asleep, I don't know what to do. And I, it was awful. I'm surprised that I managed to live, uh, but we did lose, like, a whole bunch of crap. Oh, uh, right. See you soon. Welcome back. Oh. Uh disconnected. There we go. Okay. I'll be back in a while. I'll probably stream again. Maybe around eleven, which is about let's see eight three three to four hours from now. Something like that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't mind our storage being organized. Cause uh I'll probably work on that first thing tomorrow is I'll, or I, I guess when I get on, is I'll start getting stuff to get the, uh, a more reasonable crafting area put together. That way we can move everything there, have it organized, and then start working on actual buildings. And there's a whole lot of room there for us to build around. Last notification? Yes, it was. All right. I'll be back.